Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Charlotte. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below. Let's get into the video. Today, I have a little story time for you. So grab your beverage of choice. I'm very exciting and have my water here. I'm gonna try and keep this video shorter today. I know my previous two videos have been quite long. I'm gonna tell you about this training conference I went to when I was doing Arbon. Now, that was one hell of a day. Buckle up and let's get straight into the story. This conference was last summer in June 2019 and I had actually been advised to go. I say advised, it was more like I was pressured to go. I had been on a training call with my upline and someone a lot higher um, in our team, as they like to call it, and then suddenly this person who is really high up in Arbon, she was somehow for some reason invited into our call. So it was me, this girl I knew, this other woman that I knew, and then this complete stranger. I'd heard of her because everyone praises this person. But yeah, she just joined our chat. She doesn't know who the hell I am. She doesn't know anything about me. And she was just telling me, she was like, are you coming to Leadership Academy? And I was like, uh, no, no, I don't really know anything about it. And she was like, you've got to come to this. Sorry, I'm clapping really loud. I'm not even got into the story and I'm already. So yeah, she was saying, you've got to come to this. It's going to be an amazing day of training from so many different people at so many different levels within Arbonne. You've got to come to this to kickstart your business. I'd been in it for like a couple of months. You had to pay for this training day. Just a disclaimer, this conference wasn't compulsory, but I was pretty much told it was. You know, if you don't come to this, you're not really committed and you're not gonna succeed. So no, technically not compulsory, but pretty much. This event was happening in Derby, which is in the Midlands, for anyone not from the UK or terrible at geography like me. I live in the southeast, so it was quite a long way for me to go for this training day. The ticket for this event was something like 30 or 40 pounds, and you know, at this stage I was still like, oh, this could be a good business that I'm setting up, so I thought, you know what, maybe I just need to do it this time. If it's terrible, I won't go to another one again, but you know, they're making out like it's amazing, so I should probably go to this training day, because maybe I'll learn about the products and how to sell them. So the night before the event, I was going up with a couple of um, friends that um, I knew from Arbonne, and we were all gonna drive up together. It was on a Sunday, so I had to get the train up to stay at her house the night before because the trains wouldn't leave early enough for me to get there in time. In the morning, we drove three hours to get to Derby. We arrive at this event, we're all in a big hall. There's a stage at the front where the people who are doing the presentations and the training are gonna be talking. The first talk of the day was a couple, I believe, who are in Arbonne, again, high up in the company. I think there were about, I don't know, five or six talks that day, possibly more, I can't really remember. This was the only talk that actually had actionable tips, something you could take away from it and apply later that day, which isn't really saying a lot because that was, I don't know what, like half an hour, 40 minutes? of a whole day that was, I think, like, I don't know, 10 till five. Their tips that they were giving were how to approach people, basically how to cold message people. So they were saying, you know, you start off with, hi, X, I have this amazing business opportunity that I'd like to tell you about. I thought it would be good for you because of X, Y, and Z. You know, you give them a compliment um, and then you say, it's not for everyone. It's not for anyone. If you're open to it, they love to say that if you're open to it because they, they manipulate people. They think, oh, people want to be open-minded. They don't want to be considered closed-minded. Closed-minded. So if you say, 
would you be open to hearing more? Then they reckon you're gonna get more people say yes, tell me more. They said things like you should be messaging a hundred people a day. Excuse me? A hundred people a day? You Like, this is supposed to be a side hustle. I do have a life outside of this, you know? Anyway. They were putting a lot of pressure on people, considering this is supposed to be something you can do in your spare time, it's a second stream of income. So the talks for the rest of the day were all various versions of because of Arbon. People at different stages within the company, up the ladder or pyramid, would get up and talk about what Arbon has done for their life in a positive way. So something that was kind of sad with these because of Arbon speeches, a lot of these women were talking about how they at one point in their life attempted to take their own lives and they claimed that Arbon helped them get out of this terrible point in their life. Obviously I am very pleased that these women didn't succeed and that they're not feeling like that anymore. It makes a lot of sense why these people get drawn in and once they're into these companies, why they fall in love with them and why they can't see them for what they actually are because at this really low point in their life they have someone reaching out to them pretty much every day your uplines message you every day saying how are things going how are you getting on they probably appreciate that someone is reaching out to them daily and asking them how are things going so i can understand why these people get sucked in and don't want to leave. So it's kind of sad. Not all of them were talking about suicide. A lot of them were just talking about how this has changed their life for the positive. It's like, okay, cool story, bro, but where's the actual training? I thought I was going to learn about these products, how they work and how to sell them. You know what? No one mentioned the products all day. It was all about the business and how to recruit. If that doesn't scream this is a pyramid scheme, what the hell else does? Anyway, moving on to some stranger points now. At one point in the day, everyone was given a poker chip. I think they left them under our chairs or something. And at the end of this speech that someone was giving, we had to write, I'm all in on this poker chip, as in we're all into this business and we're putting our hearts and souls into Arbon, and then they just sort of wanted you to keep this poker chip as a reminder. Ironically, yeah, you are really gambling with your money and you're more likely to win big by actually playing the slot machines than starting a business with Arbon or any of these MLMs. So that was really weird. I was like, uh, I don't really want a poker chip, thanks. Like, you can keep it. And it really is a bit brainwashy to tell people you gotta write, I'm all in. You're all in, aren't you? You're all in. Oh, the sun. Also, at the start of the day, they got everyone to do like a Mexican wave across the room because, you know, they wanted to put it on the social media and show that everyone's having an amazing time. And I was just like, what the hell? I don't know who any of these people are. Yay. <laughs> oh my God. There was a, this other, I knew, they got everyone to stand up and say, I'm going to get to this level and earn my white mercedes and they were like if you think you're gonna earn your white mercedes everyone stand up shout it say i'm gonna earn my white mercedes and these people that i came with who were sat around me they all got up and they were like i'm gonna earn my white mercedes and i was just i didn't stand up because i was like well i don't know it'd be quite nice to have a white mercedes but I don't, I don't know, I'm only like two months into my business and they were all like, oh, come on, come on. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm cool, thanks. So weird and again, really brainwashy. I know that's not a word, but I'm sort of coining it now. There was another, <laughs> I laugh at it now, it's so funny. There was this other moment where they wanted us to write down our three top priorities in life. These are going to be important things in your life. And I think what I wrote was to be happy, to be healthy and to be financially secure. And then afterwards they said, if Arbon isn't in your top three priorities, then what are you doing here? Why are you even here? You need to change that. You need Arbon to be in your top three priorities. 
and I was like uh, oh okay right I totally misunderstood I thought that it was more important to be happy and healthy and you know financially secure but no apparently Arbonne is more important than that I just find that nuts oh and one more thing they kept saying well done for everyone for being here which is like yeah cool thanks little pat on the back there <laughs> but they were doing it in a way that they were shaming the people who weren't there so they were like, you're the people who care about this. These people who haven't bothered to come, they're gonna miss out on this amazing, terrible training today. And you're gonna get ahead of them. If you're gonna target single mums, students, you know, people who have a lot of things going on in their lives, don't then be annoyed when they can't come to a full day of training on a Sunday, halfway across the country, that you have to pay to go to. As you can tell, I'm getting pretty irritated remembering all about this stupid, stupid day. So one other thing I remember is that all the people who were at, you know, the top levels within Arbonne who had their white Mercedes, they all had to park their cars in the same place on this, like, bit of land that they had outside the back of this hotel that we were at so that people could go and take pictures you know to put on social media like look at all of these successful women who have earned their white mercedes but you know what was funny is that two of these girls who i was with that day they went and took photos with someone else's mercedes that's really weird to just like take a photo of yourself in front of someone else's car and they asked me if I wanted a photo as well and again I was like mm, nah I'm cool I don't need to take a photo of myself in front of someone else's car that day felt like it went on forever and then we had to get all the way home Sunday evening you know everyone's traveling home after going home or going away for the weekends so it literally took five ever to get home after this whole training day I was asked by some of my uplines oh what did you think of the day did you feel inspired and I was like um honestly no I feel really drained and it's really put me off wanting to do this business. It really did. I could see how cultish it was and how brainwashed all of these people who were there were. And it was really making me feel slimy and horrible. And it wasn't long after that that I started to feel like, I don't wanna do this anymore. I hope that was entertaining for you. I hope it was more entertaining for you than it was for me to go through it and relive it. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this video. Also, please leave any suggestions of any future videos you'd like, MLM related or otherwise. I hope you're all having a marvellous day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.